Well, today we're excited to show you the before and afters of our kitchen update, and we'll also do a breakdown of what it cost us as well. Hope you like it. <laughs> from The Minimal Mom, and if we haven't met before, this is my husband Tom, and we have four kids, ages four through nine. So this year, Tom's Christmas present to me was to make some more changes to our kitchen, and so we're excited to show you the before and afters, and also we'll share with you the final total of how much this transformation cost as well. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and... You're gonna get Valentine's Not Day. Not quite Valentine's Day. I think you yet. can sneak that in nah, there. Nah, we'll get we'll you count it. Else. No, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the biggest transformation was removing the soffit and then re replacing the upper cabinets. So we tore down the soffits, replaced the uppers. And so right off the bat when we got started, um, Tom took out the soffit. He was taking down the upper cabinets and then the walls on the outside are plaster and it kind of started falling apart, basically. Which is in the end of the world. Um, then it gave us the option to insulate the exterior wall better, which is good. Change the window, made that easier. Put so a bigger window in. Our project got a little bit bigger because we did end up redoing that exterior wall and putting in a new window. Hopefully if you're trying to do some updates like this to your kitchen, you won't have to take it that far. <laughs> and so it wouldn't have to be quite so big of a project. But I couldn't believe how much warmer it is in the kitchen now when we get a wind from that direction, you can actually tell the difference temperature wise. So I am glad that we ended up going that far. And so again, if you were following along during the transformation, we got the upper part done, the cabinets and the beautiful subway tile backsplash and then the dark colored grout, which turned out really good. And, and then, then we're everybody's, no, 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 not we. Okay. You guys <laughs> started commenting on what do you do with the lowers? What do you do with the lowers? But you had been feeling that way too. I know, but I didn't yeah. know. <laughs> Tom had started, he was like, but maybe if we did this or maybe if we did that, we could paint those silly cabinets that had a formica so covering. Now now that I look back at what it looked like, I was like, oh my why did why was I even trying to tell myself we we're gonna leave it? <laughs> So we did end up painting the lower cabinets, which turned into a much bigger project than what we were anticipating, but the end product is pretty cool. Yeah, and I say it was a bigger project doing the lowers than mm -hmm. what I thought, but I still, it still wasn't an enormous project. Like if yeah. you're thinking about painting your lower cabinets, do it because it's worth it. And we'll link the two products that we found, the primer that was awesome, and then this enamel paint from Hirschfields. Again, we've only had it painted for about two weeks now, but... It's holding up really It's well. holding up awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we've, I mean, we've tried to like scratch at it, yeah, you know, yeah. like, I mean, we've been trying to like get a feel for how good it's going to yeah, hold up. And it creates a pretty hard shell on the wood. So we'll link to those products down below as well. And for the open shelves, we found these brackets on Amazon and then the reclaimed wood we were able to salvage from one of our barns. So that was kind of fun. And of course there was the debate of whether or not we should put another cabinet there um, or do the shelves or originally we were planning on running the shelves all the way to the window, but this is what we landed on. I think it looks really good. Are you happy with how it turned out? <laughs> really? Yeah, right now those open shelves to me look like decoration. So I did end up buying canisters for the top shelf that with a gift card. <laughs> so I did buy that like as a decoration thing because I cannot, it's- Told ya. No, but here's the thing. <laughs> I can't even reach, I can't even come close to reaching that I know, top shelf. Which makes it extremely pointless. Well, but we had to put up the third one to balance it all out. <laughs> yes. So I was okay putting something up there that was just kind of decorative, but everything else on the shelves was in a, a cupboard before. So I didn't buy any of that. Like that was just stuff we had in cabinets that now is sitting out on a shelf. So, and it was kind of cool actually, the blue glasses were from the couple that lived here before us. They lived here for a very long time. So I think it's kind of fun to have those out in the blue color obviously matches with the cabinets too, which was yeah. not intentional. So that's kind of fun. My cake stand that we use all the time whenever we entertain and 
um, the pitcher we use a lot. So it's all stuff that we use. I just arranged it in an aesthetically pleasing way. So is that acceptable? Whatever. <laughs> On to the rest of the video. <laughs> Well, so, so the question has come up if if we're on the same page on most things or if we don't always see eye to eye with I don't the think, decision making. I don't think we see eye to eye. I don't think we see eye to eye with almost anything. I don't think so either. Like at all. But I think after 10 years of being married, I think we're learning how to work together better though. I hope so. I think it turned out a lot better than we thought it was going to. Or yeah, made a bigger I impact than yeah, we expected. Yeah, I don't think that I thought it was going to be as cool as I think it is now. Mm -hmm. So, But here was one of the biggest concerns. We did lose some cabinet space when we took down the upper cabinets. We didn't put as much back up as we took down. So I'll do another video kind of showing how I refit everything back into the cabinets, but it's not a problem fitting all of our stuff. I mean, if you've seen our kitchen tour videos, we don't have a lot of stuff to begin with, and so it really wasn't a big deal to fit everything back into the cabinets. So function wise, I think our kitchen's doing just fine. My biggest issue right now is still trying to find where everything belongs. <laughs> yeah. We still need to like finalize everything's final yeah. spots in the cupboards. Yeah. But there were a couple other questions about our countertops and our flooring. Those we had done um, a couple, a few years ago. The flooring is a vinyl planking. It's the uh, snap together. But vinyl not planking. like the, uh, but it's vinyl. It's not like yeah, the no, it's fake a, no, no, no. It's a hundred percent vinyl. Mm -hmm. It's a hundred percent vinyl. So it doesn't creak when you walk on it. No, yeah. It's really flexible. Yep. The kids can spill stuff on it. It is not going to wreck it. It does not um, scratch. We have like one spot that has a scratch in it. So yeah. if you have pets or young children, this it's held up very well. They have cooler finishes now than like when we got this. Yeah, this was kind of on the beginning of it mm -hmm. when. Yep. Um, but if you're looking to upgrade the flooring, especially if you're going to sell your house too, this is very popular now and we see this mm -hmm. in houses all the time. Highly recommend it. Very economical as well. And then our countertops are just a high definition for mica. Mm -hmm. And so the, the island we had to custom order yep. to that size. But the rest is all in stock. Mm -hmm. Like yep. the corner pieces come yep. at the an corner angle pieces, yep. and they I fit had together. To, I had right? to cut the sink hole in it and mm -hmm. put a sink in. But yeah, the rest. And you can put end pieces on it as well. Yep. So. Um, again, if you're looking for, and it was, it was fairly inexpensive. If you're looking for big impact items in your kitchen for a fairly minimal cost, the flooring, the countertops, and then if you're able to, you know, do some kind of upgraded finish to your cabinets can make a huge difference. We had also put in the nicer faucet. Yeah. Yep. When we did all Which that. once you have a sprayer, a nice sprayer faucet, it's hard to yep. go back from that. And then the extra deep sink as well. Yeah. As deep awesome. as we could for the stainless steel drop in mm -hmm. yeah, yep. so those were improvements that we had made prior as well but that we're yep. very happy with and we would make again and then also the island is pretty much all drawers and yeah, yep, and pull outs yep. um tom built the island when we moved in and that's awesome drawers are so much better than doors we have the yeah, pull out yep. garbage in the island and we would highly recommend that too if you if you're going to yep. do any replacement cabinets. So I don't, I mean, I asked Tom before, I'm like, is there really anything that we would do differently with our kitchen? If, you know, fitting it in the same space it's in now. Nah. I think no, we, not. Yeah, we're really happy with it. Even just having the island too, you know, a lot of us have peninsulas in our houses mm -hmm. and they don't flow well. And so even though our kitchen is still like relatively small, by having in the, today's standard in today's <laughs> yeah. in America compared yeah, to yeah. the houses we show yeah. every day. Um, but it functions great for us. The island, especially when we have people over because everyone can move all the way around yep. it. I think that makes a big difference with how the kitchen functions. I so. think the only thing that I want to do to the kitchen yet, which we will do is I will put a couple can lights few can lights mm -hmm. in the ceiling um, when we do our next renovation. But other than that, I think we're really happy with how it turned out. Um, like I said, I'll link below a blog post with a breakdown of everything and links to all the products that we mentioned in here. And thank you to everyone who followed along with the process and shared and voted on, you know, the different options. It was really fun um, getting to read your responses and to have you doing it alongside us. So. You know, I actually really appreciated all of the comments when we asked for opinions or even just straight out opinions because I mean, we're not professionals, right? Like <laughs> we, uh, we do our best at decor and style and everything, but yeah, uh, comments are very appreciated. Yeah. And all the ones that said Tom's a pretty cool husband. Yes, he is. He was a really good sport. 
through all of this and let me make decisions <laughs> that I wanted. So, thank you. I know what, another question. Do we have any other remodeling projects coming up? Boy, oh boy, do we ever. <laughs> we have a never ending list of remodeling projects. <laughs> so we're still but, we're planning. We'll share that in a, in a couple weeks. So it'll be, yep. it'll be good. So I need a minute to. Yeah, to, Tom gets to one me, week. Give me a little bit. This next one's recharge. a big one. <laughs> So thank you for watching. Thank you for participating. We'd love it if you subscribe, but you know, normally we're sharing about our family's minimalist lifestyle and yeah. tips and tricks just to make life go a little bit smoother. And so coming up next week too, there's been a lot of requests for um, how we cook at home and how we've cooked at home more, especially if you don't really love cooking. And so we're gonna get into some of that. So we'd love it if you subscribe so that you're notified when those videos are released. A thumbs up is the best compliment that you can give us. And we will look forward to talking to you again soon.